<laughs> I see you've recovered the menorah from that fiend. I knew that I could count on you, even if the world changed. I believed you would one day learn to wield yourself as a mighty weapon. <laughs> Here is what my master has to say. It involves the menorah you acquired. For one, it was part of his prized collection. As for its deeper nature, the menorahs are flames of life, which control the flow of Magatsuhi within the labyrinth of Amala. However, they were stolen by terrible fiends. You see, the menorahs grant their possessors unfettered access to the labyrinth of Amala. But that privilege is not intended for just anyone. This place is strictly forbidden to all but those whom my master has permitted entry. That is why we would like to ask of you a favor. Is it possible for you to retrieve the menorahs, the flames that light the floors of the labyrinth? And upon doing so, would you return them here? That is my master's request, to recover the eleven menorahs. If you are willing to accept the task, then you will be allowed to enter the Labyrinth of Amala. I believe that is a fair offer, but it is up to you to decide. Will you do it for my master's sake? Thank you. I knew I could depend on you. That is to say, I knew you would accept our offer. The menorahs tend to attract each other. That is why I gave you one. As long as you have your menorah, you will eventually come across the others. When you retrieve a menorah, please place it on the pedestal in the corresponding floor of the labyrinth. I will reward you as you return them to their rightful places. If you hold your menorah to the spinning drum of Amala, the device referred to as a terminal in Tokyo, you will be able to enter and leave here freely. Please be careful. I wish you the best. Preparations are complete. Let us see if our chosen fiend will emerge victorious. If he is the one we have been waiting for.
I see that you have braved the labyrinth of Amala and returned a menorah. I am confident that you will recover the remaining ones, too. You must be cautious, though. The fiends that stole the menorahs are unique and extraordinarily powerful. Now that I think about it, this all started because of one man who caused the conception in the previous world. The conception. Because of it, the Vortex world was born. And Kagutsuchi is the source of power that illuminates this world. You, who once lived as a human, must be wandering this world without any understanding. To show you my appreciation for returning the menorah, I would like to share with you my knowledge of the Vortex world, starting with Kagutsuchi. Kagutsuchi is the light whose sole purpose is to empower the one who will oversee creation. Creation is the act of bringing a new world into existence, made possible by the annihilation of the old world. Kagutsuchi will then allow a life form of its choosing to determine the course of the new world. There must be those in Tokyo who yearn to be chosen by Kagutsuchi in order to realize their vision. The shape of the world to come depends on who is chosen, and what their reason is. In the vast Amala universe, this vortex world is not the only place where creation occurs. Kagutsuchi rises, matures, and falls in countless other places. There are millions, billions of worlds that you are unaware of, and they all experience the cycle of death and rebirth. That is the way of Amala, as determined by the Great Will. With my master, I have watched how myriads of worlds came into being, how life prospered in those worlds, and how they were destroyed in the end. All that time, Seeking the answer to the unanswerable question. Why is a world reborn? But now... We may be on the verge of finding the answer. And it is your actions which hold the key. Please retrieve the remaining menorahs as soon as possible, and then return to us. My master has high hopes for you. The fallen angel has bestowed upon you great strength. Do not lose your life and let this gift be in vain.
watched your every move from above. You have been seduced by darkness. Now, you are about to defy God's will. To the one with a demon's body and a human heart, heed my warning. End your dealings with the fallen angel before your heart is consumed by darkness. Woe unto you, for you can no longer discern good from evil. In this land where demons of chaos dwell, the last of your humanity will eventually be lost. I pray that you return to your world and rid yourself of darkness before it is too late, before God's vengeance strikes this cursed land.